Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, design of beam. So the problem is design a reinforced concrete beam of rectangle section using following data. So now the effective span L equal to 5 meter. Then width of beam is 250 mm. So overall depth D is 500 mm. Then service load W equal to 40 kiloton per meter. Then effective cover D dash is 50 mm. Then M20 and FE415 still used. So FCK is 20. Then FY is 415. Okay. So the capital D is uh, overall depth is 500 mm. So now the effective depth is 500 mm minus the cover is 50 mm. So small d equal to 450 mm. Okay, so the effective depth is 450 mm. So next ES 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square. Okay, so these are all the given values. So first step we have to find out the ultimate moments and shear force. ultimate moment and CF force so now M U equal to W L square by 8 into 1.5 is factor of safety now we can substitute the values for W is 40 into L is 5 square divided by 8 into 1.5 okay solving this we got the value of 187.5 kilo Newton meter Okay, next thing is CF force VU equal to W L by 2 into 1.5. So now W is same 40 into L is 5 meter divided by 2 into 1.5 factor of safety. So now we got the value of 150 kilo Newton. Okay, so this is the MU value and this is VU value. Okay, so next thing is uh, main reinforcement. So before that we have to check whether it is uh, singly reinforced or doubly reinforced. So now it's another reinforced section or doubly reinforced. So now MU limit. So MU limit equal to the formula 0 0.138 FCK B D square. Okay. So now we can substitute the values 0 0.138 in FCK is 20 that is given and B value is 250 that's also given and D is 450 square okay so now we can uh, uh, convert into kilo Newton meter into 10 power minus 6 kilo Newton meter okay so now we solving this we got the value of 140 kilo Newton meter okay so now we came to know that MU is greater than MU limit ok so now 187.5 is greater than of 140 so this is doubly reinforced section ok so now MU minus MU limit equal to 187.5 minus 140. So now we got the value of 47.5 kilo Newton meter. Okay, so now we have to find out the FC value, FSC value. FSC equal to the formula is 0 0.0035 into XU max minus d dash divided by so x u max the neutral axis x u max into e s ok so now we can substitute all the values over here so now so now 0 0.0035 into x u value the depth of neutral axis 0 0.48 into 450 minus 50 so the cover is 50 divided by again 0 0.48 into 450 
into 2 into 10 power 5. Okay, solving this we got the value of 5 38 Newton per mm square. This is FSC value. So now FSC is not greater than 0 0.87 FY. So 0 0.87 into FY value is 415. So equal to 316 Newton per mm square. Okay, so but the thing is FSC value is higher and 0.87 fy value is uh, lower so now a sc equal to the formula mu minus mu limit divided by f sc into d minus d dash okay so now we can substitute all the values over here mu uh, limit mu minus mu limit is 47.5 into 10 power 6 we can convert into newton meter into uh, we can convert uh, kilometer meter into Newton mm. So now FSC value is 361 into the D minus D, the 450 minus 50 is 400 mm. Okay, so now we got the value of 329 mm square. Okay, so now we can provide two bars of 16 mm dia. So now ASC value will be 402 mm square okay so now we can find out ast2 so the formula asc into f sc divided by 0 0.87 fy okay so now we can substitute all the values so 329 into 361 divided by 0 0.87 into fy value is 415 okay so now we solving this we got the value of 329 mm square So now AST1 value, so AST1 equal to the formula 0 0.36 into FCK into B into XU limit divided by 0 0.87 FY. Okay, so now we can substitute all the values over here. 0 0.36 into FCK is 20 and B value is uh, 250 into 0 0.48 into 450 divided by 0 0.87 into 415 so now ast1 is 1077 mm square so now the total ast equal to ast1 plus ast2 so now ast1 value is uh, 1077 plus ast2 329 so solving this we got the value of 1406 mm square so this is the ast value so now provide three bars of 25 mm dia okay so now ast will be 1473 mm square so now cr enforcement so tau v equal to vu divided by bd so now 150 divided by 250 in sorry 250 into 450 okay so we can convert into uh, kilometer into meter so 0 kilometer into newton into 10 power 3 so solving this we got the value of 1.33 newton per mm square okay so now pt value so pt equal to 100 ast divided by bd so now the 100 into ast value 1473 divided by BD is uh, 250 into 450. Okay, so now we got the value of 1.3. Okay, so now refer table number 19. 19 in IS 456 2000. So tau C value is 0 0.68 Newton per mm square. So now tau v value is greater than tau c. So CR reinforcement is required. So now v u s equal to v u minus tau c into b d. Tau c b d. So now we can substitute all the values over here. Equal to 
150 minus 0 0.68 into 250 into 450 into 10 power minus 3 we can convert into kilo newton so now 73.5 kilo newton okay so vus is 73.5 kilo newton using 8 mm dia two legged stirrups so this is a method we can design the doubly reinforced beam again we will see next video thank you